Hi, you're very welcome. And in this video, what I want to show you is something that kind of came up as a question to me from one of my subscribers. So here basically I have a list of um, ID numbers. All right, so I'm gonna just rename there to ID numbers. Okay. And there's a number kind of of dates and times for each of those. So what I need to do is I need to identify two things. I need to be able to kind of just extract a list of the unique entries because if I highlight this here and I go to home, conditional formatting, highlight cells, rules, date, duplicates, you can see there I've got a bunch of duplicates. I don't want duplicates. Okay, what I want is just a list of just the unique entries. And then what I want to do is that for each of these unique entries, I just want to show what is the latest date and time. Okay, so that's going to require me to use the max if it's functions. So I come here to output and I start with a function called unique. So look up and, and reference. Now this may not be available to you. This is kind of one of the newer functions, what they call the dynamic array functions. So, and what the beauty of it is, is that it does exactly what it says on the tin, extracts a list of unique entries. So I go here to my array, go to my data for analysis, click here, control shift arrow down, and it kind of covers that lot. Okay. Now I'm going to ignore the columns bit because I don't want, at this point, I don't actually want to kind of compare one to the other. Okay. And the third one, I'm going to kind of leave as zero as well, um, because I don't want the ones that have just occurred once. All right. Um, what I want, for example, is basically a list of all the unique entries. So then I click OK. Give it a second to do its thing. There you go. List of unique entries. And let's have a quick check. Home, conditional formatting, highlight cells, rules, duplicate values. Click OK. Nope. We've got a whole bunch of unique entries here, which is very useful indeed, except maybe for the blanks ones there. But that's occurred more than once. OK, and then what I need to do is I need to go to latest date entered. So for that, I'm basically going to use the um, max ifs function, which is also one of the newer functions. So I go to formulas, go to math and trig. And I scroll down to my, of course, no, not math and trig. Wouldn't you think I'd know this at this time? Since I've done it more often. Statistical. And I just scroll down to max ifs. Okay, so the max ifs is one of these functions that's kind of like the sum ifs or the count ifs. And essentially what it allows you to do is say, okay, find me the latest or the highest value in a range given certain criteria. So for this max range, I want to get the time. So I'll just highlight my time column over here. And bearing in mind it's idiosyncrasies, I'm just going to select the entire column. And then the criteria range then is going to be, um, go back to my data analysis, highlight my ID numbers, and my criteria is going to be based on this unique entry. And then I click OK. All right. Now it's given me this number here, but you sometimes find that it comes out with, you know, it might come out with something like this number, which is, you know, not particularly helpful. So what you need to do in that case is just go over to this one, just go down to custom and scroll down. You're looking for your date and time. There it is. And then click OK. That looks more like it. And double click. Right. So let's have a quick check on our answers. I'm going to pick this one here, which is 803-1248. So let me go back to this one. Highlight my numbers. 803 there we go, one, two, four, eight. That for a second. Didn't do that one, let me try it again, 803. Two, four, eight. Okay, and there you can see we've got two of them, one on the 26th, 24th of the 6th, 2020, 12, 25. And then we're looking for the one that 24th of the 6th, 1241. So if I go back here and check my answers, all right, and just do a little data search again. 803.
see there it is eight oh three one two four eight and indeed the latest time for that is the 24th of the 6th 12 41 okay hope you found this useful mind yourself take care bye